pulling on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Welcome back everybody to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today is going to be an exciting day. We're doing an unboxing of the Large Pro DIY kit put out by Central Vapors. Man, if you've been thinking about coming over to the dark side with the DIY, uh, and I don't mean it in a bad way, um, you know, if you're filling the creative juices or you want to save money, uh, let me delve into this and then we'll talk some numbers. Just so you understand, uh, I think everything that goes into this, I'm really excited about this kit. I wish that when I started doing this stuff a while ago, uh, that they had something like this. Um, I'm really excited to see where the companies are going, and it speaks to them wanting to retain their customer, so putting out a product to keep those customers. Uh, let's go over the box, and then we'll talk about some numbers and uh, that way you can get some real life numbers and stats. I'm going to go ahead and open up their website if you don't mind just because there's a lot of stuff. It has everything in here and I'm going to just read what they put in the kit and then I'm going to take a look here and we'll point it out and then we'll go over the numbers so you can get a real good idea. I'm going to tell you right now though you're going to save a lot of money if you're thinking about coming this direction. Uh, I know that I did and uh, you know I'm, I'm a person I'm going to say this right now. Hold on. Let me get their page up. Thank you. Um, pause for station identification. So, uh, just a real brief background. I smoked for over 20 years, right? And then uh, I had a lot of issues that uh, I'm disabled now. And uh, I smoked... For over 20 years, a pack a day or better, it's been five and a half years now that I've been tobacco free. Yes, I do use a little nicotine, uh, simply because pure nicotine, I'm talking about lab tested, all that stuff. I'm not talking about nicotine that comes in cigarettes with all the carbon dioxide and the carcinogens. I'm talking about lab produced pure nicotine in small doses. Can be a benefit uh, for me I used to be a thinner guy uh, when I was a kid I was a bigger dude than I am now um, but after all the surgeries and disabilities I put back on some weight uh, it helped me get off of cigarettes and yes I can go without nicotine it I, I don't have that addiction anymore but I found during the daytime that when I use a low dose uh, it can actually help suppress uh, the appetite so I don't overeat and there's plenty of articles from reputable forums and institutions that could test to that fact. All right, so now let's get into this because I think you're going to be really excited, so bear with me, okay? Uh, let's see. Let me put on the old bifocals here because I can't see. Mm. All right, this is right off their website, and I'm just going to compare apples to apples. All right, so we got one 50 mil strength, I'm sorry, one 50 mil size, 100 milligram strength nicotine. All right, that's what that is right there. Now, it might seem a little small, but consider this. It's 100 milligram, which means it's a one per one or 100%. Realistically, when you make a 30 mil bottle, you're, when you're at the the when you're at the strength that I'm using with this right here, uh, you're only using a little bit um, to fill that bottle up. It's, it's only a little bit, so it's going to last you a good while. It really does. Uh, let's see, 1 times 250 mil propylene glycol, PG. Let's see, right there. Pretty good sized bottle. Now, we can get into different scenarios and all that, and I'll get into all that after. I want to keep everything... Uh, flowing here so let's earmark this one because I'm going to go into uh, a few other things in the back end to give you some good ideas about how it's all going to be used and comes together as a matter of fact I did that in another video but I'll just kind of footnote this one um, so that's here 
Then we have 2 times 250 mil vegetable glycerin or VG. All right. So you got propylene glycol, PG, vegetable glycerin, VG. Now, if you're a person, I, I don't mind putting a little PG in there, but I'm kind of like a 60, 40, 70, 30 uh, on the heavy side with the vegetable glycerin. I have a little bit of allergy. Uh, if I go 100% PG, it's not bad. It's just more like a tick on the back of my throat. I liked that better when I was getting off smoking and I had higher nicotine levels, but not anymore. Um, anyway, so you got your two VG and your one PG, just like it said. And sometimes, by the way, guys, I do kind of jump around, but I promise I'll put the notes down below in the, link in the linkages. So don't worry about it, and I promise to come back around and circle back around to bring it together. All right, just so you all get to know a little bit more about... Well, uh, let's see, 15 times empty 10 milliliter bottle with lids. Okay, so you have my lids over here. You can see the blue. I know you can't see this because I'm on a white surface, but that's these guys. And yes, they're all here. So we have five rows of three, which is your 15. 10 times assorted syringes. And they're in their packages. Okay. We have those all right here. These are very important, and I always try to use a different syringe for a different flavor if I'm making multiple, or if I'm using one for VG or PG. Uh, again, I'm going ahead of myself. I'll come back around with that. Um, five times 30 mil, your choice of flavor concentrate. One, two, three, four, five. That's these guys right here. Uh, the flavors that I got in my pack are, or my box here is Strawberry Shortcut. Ugh. Strawberry shortcut. <laughs> Boom! Strawberry shortcake. Uh, Berry blast off. Galaxy. Caramel cheesecake. My daughter's going to get into that one. She's going to love that one. And one of my faves, favorites, yeah, peach iced tea. Oh, oh, oh. Matter of fact, hold on, because that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> All right, guys, so right here is a really good starter pack. It's going to cost you $69. However, however, you see each one of these bottles, it's 30 mil. You're not going to be vaping specifically that. What's going to end up happening uh, is you're going to take out with a syringe, depending on what your, your recipe that you're using, by the way, when you order through here, there is a calculator that you can order once you become a customer. It's free. It's called eJuice Me Up. That's the one that I use. Um, and you'll pop in. There's recipes already in there. Uh, but you can scout around and you can come up uh, from different places, some recipes. Down below here, I like this because they, they put in uh, your basic beginner percentages. And I'll kind of touch on that. But you're going to use... Let's say you go with any company, and any company, I'm going to get back to this point so we can kind of show apples to apples, dollars to dollars. Normally, if you buy a bottle this size that's ready to vape, let's say it's a, let's just go with, let's say it's a premium e-juice, not your basic lower end, but a premium e-juice. You're going to spend anywhere from $10 to $20. So I'm going to go right in the middle, and I'm going to say $15 for a good premium e-juice all right so if you did that let's just add it up just by this alone all right let's just count bottles but these are extracts I'm, I'm sorry concentrate so you're gonna have to remember that but let's just say we were doing that and these were regular bottles just regular bottles that's 15 30 60 75 so just right here if those were to vape bottles not concentrates that would be your whole money that you would spend on that now, when you get into, so there's your money right there already from the $69 that you spent, you've already made that back. Plus, these are going to make a lot more bottles because they're concentrates, not just ready-to-vape juices. In other words, you're going to get several bottles out of that one. All right. Same thing here with your propylene glycol. You're going to make many bottles and your VG from 
some concentrate, using a syringe, using some recipes. And I know I'm jumping around, but the bottom line is, if we just went off of this alone, uh, you'd already make your money back, but you've gotten so much more because these are concentrate. So one bottle is going to make an effect, several bottles, depending on the percentage that you put in. For example, down here below, uh, and again, I'll put the link, they're suggesting that if you are using menthol or mint flavors, you do somewhere from 10% under. Uh, if you're doing fruit flavors, somewhere from 20% under. And desserts and cream, you're going to put from 25 to 21%. Let me explain what that is. So let's go, the reason why you're using more desserts and creams. Now traditionally, I would say that those are a lot of times secondary flavors, not primary. But if you're using a dessert, I'm not talking cream, I'm talking dessert. Uh, sort of like uh, strawberry shortcake. That would qualify under the dessert, and so would caramel cheesecake. Those are traditionally not as power punched as like the fruit flavors and the drink flavors. So you're going to use a little more to get a little more boost into that flavor. Now, if you're using them as a secondary, obviously that percentage will come down. Um, fruits, same thing. Uh, fruit, well, fruits, you want a bigger boost of the flavor just because. It takes a little bit more to cut through the VG and the PG to bring about an optimum flavor that's going to get that wow factor in your mouth and get all your palate going. Uh, and then menthols and mints are traditionally pretty strong, so you want to use a little more judicious uh, restraint when applying those to your VG PGs. So I would say that that's pretty consistent with what I already do. Um, but for, for you buying this kit, that's a very good thing to go off of. Um, Alright, so we got all the bottles here. The only thing that you need to do with these is if, if you go to like Office Depot or something and get those. Here, let me bring them out. All you need to do once you make those uh, bottles there is go get some labels from Staples, Office Depot. And then you're going to go ahead. Here, I'll put them right there. Can you see? I forgot that camera's up. Um, so that way you can label each bottle. Uh... I always keep the same bottle for the same flavor as long as I can. That way I don't have to keep relabeling. Okay, nicotine. Again, this is a strong strength. Your strength. You're only going to use a little bit. And and um, I, I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. We're just doing the unboxing right now, and we're just showing you uh, the value. This is a very good value. I'm going to say that this. This wasn't around, like I said, when I started. So to get this for 60 bucks, it, and I counted off just these bottles, not even all this other stuff. If this was just ready-to-vape bottles, you had already made your money back right there. But you're going to make so many more bottles because these are concentrates. Syringes, uh, the bottles, the nicotine, uh, because this is a real, real strong strength, you're going to use very little of it uh, to get where you need to be at your level if you're just stopping smoking, you might start at maybe a 20% and then back down, back down, back down. For me, I don't have to have it. I just enjoy vaping with nicotine during the day, again, for appetite suppression. That just happens to be me. Um, so I'm going to go over just a little bit more here. Uh, I like what they have on their website in this package uh, underneath the Pro DIY Kit. In red, it says, nicotine is a toxic chemical and should be handled as such. I know you guys have seen me all the time. I have uh, down here, I don't think the camera's going to catch it, but I have some nitrile gloves that I use. Normally, when I'm making these, I'll also put on my chef jacket. In other words, I'm covering, covering the skin areas uh, because nicotine and low dose, cool. But if you start to get it on your skin... Uh, or if you start to consume too much, it could lead to some serious stuff, including death. Um, and that's not a joke, okay? So that is one thing that, if I can impart anything regarding safety, nicotine, don't play with it. Get into a clean atmosphere. Uh, when I'm usually making my recipes, you have seen my other videos, I have, in the kitchen we call it mise en place, which means pretty much everything in its place. In the kitchen, they would have your mise en place would traditionally be the ingredients that a line chef is using. But in this case, you'd have some water, soapy water. Then you'd have your syringes. 
your gloves, uh, and some towels and soap so that you could keep a sterile, sterile surface. Uh, you don't want to spill this stuff on, on yourself, nor do you want to cross-contaminate. That's why also, I, I told you I was going to jump around a little bit, using different syringes for the different flavors or chemical so that we don't over contaminate or anything like that we want to make sure that all the chemical gets in the bottle as, a, as the recipe says and if there's one thing I would say do not try to uh, adjust too much the nicotine you nicotine you have to be very restrained you could put a little more or a little less as far as flavors go even adjust the PG and BG a little bit um, but nicotine uh, you should keep that on the money anyway guys um, Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to put the link. I'm just going over this. It has a, a real good concentrated amount of data regarding all this stuff. I'm going to give you the link right to this kit. I know I've jumped around a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do here, though, just to keep it short and interesting and sweet, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, end the video here. But what we're going to do is I will be making separate videos for each of these flavors. I'm going to get a little bit deeper into the whole nicotine, all that. You can see me go through the progressions, uh, putting, you know, using different syringes, gloves, something to cover myself with, uh, mise en place, which is all your tools, your soapy water, that kind of thing. And you'll be able to see me build a recipe. Um, so having said that, though, I really wish they had something like this when I started. Uh, I think you can see the pantry here on the little... Let me, let me get my thing back up. I think you can see my pantry. And up here, I've, I've got a lot of DIY stuff up, up on that shelf. Um, and you've seen me do other videos. Uh, like I said, regarding this, this is a value. It really is. If you're thinking about saving some money for whatever reason financial issues, creativity. This is a wonderful way you already get your money's worth right out of the gate. Um, this is a great, great, great package to get. It is going to give you a lot. Matter of fact, you know, these bottles and all that stuff, these are going to last you quite a while. You're going to get a lot of different bottles of flavor out of each one of these concentrates. Get over there and get it. I'm, I'm really excited that I got it. I wanted to see what it was all about. When I said my pantry up here, it took me going through a lot of different companies to find out who put out really good product. Uh, so you see kind of a hodgepodge, and it's been going on for a pretty long time when I switched over to the DIY. And when I saw this with Central Vapors, and I've been coming to Central Vapors now for a, a while, I've got them on my short list of top five companies. Uh, you can not only buy your, your good e-juices, your premium e-juices, uh, but you can now, they, they're really into keeping their customer, you can now do the DIY thing uh, and, and delve down that road. And uh, I don't put my stamp on something unless I believe in it. Uh, and I believe in this. When I go through my videos, I'll show you one or two other pieces of equipment that might not be included here, but are very, very affordable, that will last you a long time, that will help you with this. Um, having said that, let's go ahead and end in our traditional fashion and get the heck out of here. By the way, please like and subscribe, and I'll put that link directly over to Central Vapors for this. Adios, amigos. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.